Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India In this lecture, I'm going to talk about product offerings. Suppose you have two rings R and S, then you can form a new ring by putting a ring structure on the Cartesian product. And this structure is just a component wise addition and multiplication. So if you have R1 S1 plus R2 S2, it's just going to be R1 plus R2 comma S1 plus S2. And R1 S1 into R2 S2 is just going to be R1 R2 comma S1 S2. It's not difficult to check that this operation will inherit all the ring axioms from uh, the corresponding axioms for R and S. Um, just uh, to uh, make some things clear, let me give a few examples. So this R cross S has a zero element. The zero element of R cross S is just the zero element of R comma the zero element of S. The unit of R cross S is the unit of R comma the unit of S. And let me just uh, give you a simple example. We've already seen that um, if we have two integers m and n, then z mod mz cross z mod nz is a group. But it is also a ring under component-wise addition and multiplication. Suppose R and S are two rings, not necessarily commutative. We can form the ring R cross S. And now I ask, what are the left ideals in R cross S? And uh, here's one easy way of constructing a left ideal in R cross S. If I is a left ideal in R and J is a left ideal in S, then I cross J is a left ideal in R cross S. And the proof is really easy. Um, you just have that if A comma B belongs to I cross J and then you have any element R comma S belongs to R cross S, we need to check that R comma S times A comma B belongs to I cross S. So R comma I R I cross G. But this by definition is R A comma S B. But R A belongs to I because A belongs to I and I is an ideal. S B belongs to J because B belongs to J and B is an ideal. So this belongs to I cross J. So I cross J is closed under left multiplication by elements in R cross S. Of course, I cross J is also an additive subgroup of R cross S. So I cross J is a left ideal. Now you can replace this left here by uh, also by right or by two sided. And it works exactly the same way. And here it will be a right ideal or a two sided ideal. So if I and J are right ideals in R and S respectively, then I cross J is a right ideal in R cross S. And if I and J are two sided ideals in R cross S respectively, R and S respectively, then I cross J is a two sided ideal in uh, R cross S. It turns out that every left ideal of R cross S is of the form I cross J, where I is a left ideal of R and J is a left ideal of S.
so how do we prove this well so starting with um, a left ideal in r cross s we'll try to identify what i and j would be so let i just be the set of all a in r such that a comma 0 belongs to k and let j be the set of all b in s such that 0 comma b belongs to k now it's not hard to see that i and j are left ideals of r and s respectively because if you take any element r of r and look at r times a in r then r times a comma 0 will also be in k because it is uh, r times 1 r comma 1 times a comma 0 so r and i and j will both be left ideals in r and s respectively now what i want to show is that k is equal to i cross j so it's very easy to show that i cross j is contained in k because uh, if a comma b belongs to i cross j then a comma 0 belongs to i and 0 comma b sorry belongs to k and 0 comma b also belongs to k which implies that a comma 0 plus 0 comma b belongs to k because an ideal has to be closed under addition which implies that a comma b belongs to k which shows that i cross j is contained in k for the converse if a comma b is in k then we can take uh, 1 of r comma 0 times a comma b this is also in k because uh, k is a left idea but this is equal to a comma 0 and this is in k which implies that a is in i similarly you can show that b is in g which implies that a comma b is in i cross j and hence we have that um, k is contained in i cross j so k is equal to i cross j so what we have seen is that if you take a product of two rings then all the left ideals of that product are products of left ideals of the two rings themselves the same holds for right ideals or for two-sided ideals <laughs>